Okay, welcome back. Still reviewing Action Force Figures and Accessories, Series 2B. This time, we're, this is technically an unboxing. We're going to be looking at Weapons Pack Charlie. Now, uh, several months ago, we had a, a good long look at Weapons Pack Alpha and Bravo. And this is the third Weapons Pack in the Action Force line. And uh, I've already uh, uh, cut the tape on it, so we're just going to go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. And as I recall, these flaps are... Uh, Fairly straightforward. So it all comes in a little baggie on the inside. Second baggie with muzzle flash. And there's actually six muzzle flash in here. So that's, that's, uh, that's great. Now, what we're just going to do is just dump all these down on the uh, table here. And uh, right on the 50 if I, can, if I can swing it. All right, we'll spread these out and have a look at them. Um, now, right away... Again, this is the same uh, uh, long arm that uh, comes with the Delta gear set. I think this is my favorite. This is molded in more of a desert color, so I can see Desert Rat uh, wielding this particular uh, uh, weapon here. And, uh, yeah, it looks great. Nice silver paint application. That's where the spent shells fly out, I bet. And a uh, little handle here. Use the gripping hand to hold on to these with. The trigger hand here. And I think this just looks quite the awesome weapon here. Now, we've seen one of these before. I think it's a modified SCAR rifle with a grenade launcher uh, attached to it. Um, what color is that? It's not olive drab, per se. It's, it's, a, it's not gray. It does have a tinge of green in it. It's military colors, folks. Um, it's not dark, it's not light enough to be khaki, and it's not dark enough to be considered olive drab. It's something in the middle there. I like that design. This one looks pretty neat with muzzle flash coming out of it as well. Alright. Now this appears to be the same uh, weapon that uh, comes with the Garrison Cavalry Trooper. However, this has a khaki uh, paint application applied to it. I think this looks nice. Okay. And let, now let's test the durability here of this stock. It seems pretty durable to me, folks. If you try hard enough, you can break any of these. Uh, but now this seems quite robust and durable to me, folks. Okay. And let's try to separate the ones we've seen from the ones we haven't. Um, and of course, this uh, has a a port for one of these magazines that come with the uh, with the uh, set, as does the modified scar. Okay, this one already has a mag in it. I don't know if it's removable or not. That one might be molded in. Okay, and let's have a look at this again. Now, now folks, I don't know uh, really one. Machine gun from the next. But, uh, this almost has a, the elegance of a, of a shotgun, doesn't it? Um, it, again, I, I, it has a cartridge in it, so. It's just a, a very slim profile from side to side on the weapon. Again, I don't, I don't know much about military ordnance at all. I'm also not a gun nut. Um, but I can appreciate the aesthetics and the realistic uh, designs on these things, the attention to detail, and, and, and appreciate them for, for what they are, action figure accessories, military-themed action figure accessories. And these are far better accessories than those that come with Hasbro's G.I. Joe classified uh, figures, which is why... I picked up a another uh, a second weapons pack, Charlie. That you know, will these these weapons will probably be uh, displayed on my GI Joes rather than I'm pretty happy with most of the weapons that come with the figure. Uh, so these are just a bonus. All right, now we have a smaller uh, weapon. I'm not sure we've seen this yet. Um, that's pretty cool. 
Now, I'm almost certain, yeah, the uh, the, the mag is molded onto that, that weapon. Uh, this would be a good match for the uh, Delta Trooper or for Trigger. Um, or perhaps for Duster. I'm just looking at them over there. Or even Sergeant Slaughter version 1. Or version 2. I mean, you've got options here, folks. Um, you've got options. Okay. And here is... Uh, that actually looks like a pistol with all the trimmings, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it's... Well, this is different, I think, from the uh, setup that comes with the Delta Trooper. Uh, but that's a pretty neat accessory there. Yeah, and again, very uh, robust plastic, folks. And this thing... This looks like uh, uh, the weapon that comes with uh, the Snake Eyes Origins Baroness uh, figure. It's a, it's, it's a very it's, it's a modified pistol, it looks like to me, just very compact, and it has the, uh, the handle there just right, right on the barrel itself. I tr might give this for, take the, this for a spin on one of the, the Baroness figures. And it does come with one pistol with a very nice silver paint application on it. Okay. And tons of extra uh, mag cartridges. Uh, I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, cartridges here. Of course, one of them would go into this, this one. One of them would go into this one. So that leaves you six extras. And then there's one, or one already in this one. All right, so that's Weapons Pack Charlie. I got another one of these on the way. I'm, I, I can't, I'm blown away by the uh, uh, the disparity in the quality of the accessories between Valiverse Action Force and GI Joe Classified. It's night and day. Now, granted, uh, these are uh, adult figures, and uh, the GI Joe Classified figures are marketed for kids, even though kids aren't playing with them. Kids aren't collecting them. Everyone collecting classifieds are also adults. So it, it only makes sense to replace the, 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 the Terabad uh, weapons that come with G.I. Joe classified figures with much, much better weapons like these. And the bang for your buck, I find these to be far, uh, far more economical than the uh, 3D printed uh, weapons you can get on eBay in the aftermarket. Um, I think the retail on these was either 12 or 13 uh, and that's about what one 3D printed weapon costs on eBay. So I, I think it's a much better deal, these weapons packs, than the uh, than other options out there. And they, they really do, I mean, of course they, 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 they accessorize Action Force figures quite nicely, but they work wonders with G.I. Joe classified figures, and that's why I really like these. Okay, so there you go, folks. That is Weapons Pack Charlie. And so stay tuned for the, uh, the final video in this Action Force Series 2B series in which I uh, share my overall review of this series. Okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.